this podcast is on setting Maple into worksheet mode. Maple has two different modes of operation, and when you first launch it, its standard mode is what's known as the document mode. And if you launch Maple and you see something like this, you're in document mode. What document mode is, is it allows you to make, well, documents, things that other people can read. If you try to type in something as simple as 2 plus 5 and hit enter, nothing will happen because it's not being used as a calculator. We want Maple to replace our calculator, so we need to change its mode settings. To do that, go into the Tools bar and scroll down to Options, and a big dialog box will pop up. And we're going to make a couple of changes. The first change we're going to make is under the Interface tab. And we're going to make the default format for new worksheets a worksheet instead of a document. That means we're now going to be able to do work with Maple. The other thing we're going to do is make a couple of changes that will make your Maple run like mine in class. And to make these changes, I'm going to go to from Input Display from 2D to Maple Notation. I'm not going to change any of these other options right here, and I'm going to make a couple of check marks. I'm going to check Enable Rollover Highlighting Plots, check Replace Existing Output, check Show Equation Labels, check Display Output, and check the Self-Documenting Context menus. Once you've got these things done, go down to Apply Globally and click that. Now nothing will have changed on the screen right here because Maple needs some time to make these changes new. So what we want to do instead is go over here to this blank piece of paper and have Maple launch a new unadulterated page. And notice that the new page will have a caret on it. And when I type in 2 plus 5 and hit enter, I get output of 7. And if I were to type something more exciting like 2 to the 700, then I get much more exciting output. But now Maple is ready to go.